All right, all right. It is only a three hours and 46 minutes after these cards dropped. This new TA Retro Finest. Uh, and we're here. We're already giving them a tier list, man. You know what I do. You know how I do things around here. Shout out to showzone.gg. Make sure you guys get on this. Showzone has this tier builder function if you have a premium membership. A pro membership. And uh, it's really, really cool, man. I love what they do over here. It makes it super easy. All this, it's linked to the app and to their website. And will be the shows. Their website is, Showzone's is, they're linked. They link this so whatever cards get added, they get them right to their website. So it's perfect. So it makes my job super easy and it makes it fun. So anyway, um, moving on. Let's rank the cards, baby. Uh, off the cuff, they're pretty fresh in the mind. I just checked all of these cards out. I have a pretty good recall ability for video games because I'm a loser. So Christian Yelich, immediate S tier. Good card on its own. Good card when you put him on the Corbin Carroll team, he becomes an even better card. I usually like to run... Um, Someone recalled it today, I forget who it was in my chat, Corb Shaw. I run tier three Corbin, tier two Kershaw usually. That's the combo together. He's God on that team. He's good on his own. Really good defender, a 95 speed Kirsten Yelich. That's crazy, bro. Joe Morgan, D tier. Just too weak versus lefties, not good enough versus righties, I think. Just too one dimensional and a really just funky swing, man. So I'm gonna go D tier. I don't think he's anything. I think he's hard to use. I think he is. I really do. Chase Utley, I'm gonna go with a B tier card. Just going to double check on that, though. I'm pretty sure I remember. He's pretty similar to Yelly's. 118, 125 contacts. 125, 118. I hate that it's backwards. Power is a little weak. Vision's pretty good. Fielding is really good. The speed is a little lackluster with 75. Uh, honestly, yeah, he's a B card. I think he's B. I think he's pretty good. Um, These might get adjusted because it's going to... I'm trying to make it relative. I'm going to try and make it relative. I think we have too many good cards right now with Jackie Robinson and Biggio and stuff like that. It's going to be hard to get J J Chase Utley in there, but um, he's not bad. Low A, but maybe, but B for now. George Springer, B tier because he's not playable in his primary, really. I don't think he's playable, but not good. Slow center fielder, man. Don't need one. I don't care how good your defense is if you're a slow center fielder. Good offensive stats, though. Really, really solid. Sean Green, B tier. And I usually am very high on Sean Green. Uh, I usually am. I don't think, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think he has first base. He does not have that. Uh, and his, he's got 90 contact versus lefties. But, 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 my boy, Sean Green, fits Corbin. And he is very good on that team. Because the swing's good. But still B, nonetheless. Um, I think he's, it, it's a B because of swing type. I'm going to actually go, I'm going to give Chase Utley an A. Because he's really solid. Dalton Varsho. I'm going to go B, and I'll tell you why. He is a... D tier card on his own. He's a B tier if you run Corp Shaw. Tier three Corbin, tier two Kershaw. Menace. Covers the 87 contact versus lefties. The vision gets a, sh a huge boost. And he's uh he's only gonna get faster with parallels. So get to nine, I think 90 speed with max defense. Very versatile, like a baby Biggio with I think a, a very formidable swing from the left side of the plate. Very fun card. I'm biased with this, but I think B at his best. Uh, but uh, it's uh, because I have to be fair here. I think he's a D without the boosts. He's a B with them. I'm going to go C. I'm going to go C. Uh, Jason Bay, B tier card. Decent in his primary position. Decent in his positions out there in the field. Really good bat. Swing's not for everybody. A solid bat. Mike Yastrzemski. I think I'm going to go with an... Mm, I kind of want to go A tier. I think he's very... I downloaded that. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, 101, 125 contacts with 106, 116 powers. 116, 106 power with vision is 89. All right, um, right, I'm going to go because it doesn't fit any captains. He's, a good, he's good on the lefty team. I'm going to go with the B tier, though. Joey Gallo, uh, D tier card. Just he, This is just not going to work, Papito. It's not going to work. I mean, 90, 94 contacts with 63 vision. You're a conquest card, bro. And a good one, nonetheless. Good defense. He does fit Cruz, but he's already max power. He does get a nice little clutch boost to 112. And he gets a nice speed boost to 78, which means he cracks over 80 with parallel two. So again, not the end of the world. He'll probably dominate an all-star, but to me, just D tier. Just not even close to the best option. He's just like, he could be better. He could be better. You know, I think if you're gonna tank vision, you can give him a little more contact. You know, Mike Cameron, I'm gonna go with, I think he might be our second S tier. Very well-rounded card. 114, 103 contacts with 104, 99 power, 88 visions, a little low, but max clutch, good bunt rating, 95 fielding, 83 arm, but 85 speed. So yes, S tier card, 5-2 player all the way through and through. Not the best Mike Cameron we've ever seen, but a very good one in the Padres one, which is fun. And on Corbin, he's S for sure, guaranteed, but I think he's still S. 
Anthony Rendon, S-tier card. No secondaries, which hurts him, but his hitting is hard to argue with, right? 118, 113 contacts, 97, 108 power with 113 vision and max clutch, 87 fielding, 85 arm, 83 reaction. Speed, I don't give a shit. I don't care. He rakes. And one of the best swings, most comfortable swings in the game, genuinely. So I'm going to go with Anthony Rendon there in S tier. McGuire, D tier, right? Uh, I'm just, the attributes are okay. 111, 100. 125s visions 82 which is pretty good max clutch fielding is just mid only plays first base and he just has that swing bro just not he's not even a top three first baseman in this drop to be honest rafael palmero i'm gonna go b i think palmero super slept on i think he is 117 101 contacts 115 114 powers vision 106 clutch 100 a little tough Little lefty boost never hurt nobody for that. And the fielding is not terrible. He does get to gold at P4. Reaction's a little low. Speed's eh. I think swing carries him a little bit here. I think he's very, very solid. I'm going to go A tier. Uh, B tier, though. Mike Napoli. A tier. I know people love Nap. First base. Catcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 106, 125. 110, 118. 82 vision. Clutch 107. Fielding is an 80. Reaction's 86. Very good. Um... You know what? I'm actually going to go... I'm going to go A tier simply because he's like a Palmero type in a way. Uh, he's more like... Yeah, he's pretty good. I'll give him... He's pretty good, but he, he can catch, which really helps. So I'll put him in A tier. Uh, like, reluctantly. Very begrudgingly, I'll do it. I'm not a huge Napoli fan. Troy Glaus. Uh, 95, 96, 1, 125, 113 with 89 vision. Best thing about this car is that he can play shortstop. And he's not a bad fielder at all. Uh, but one point off of Cruz team really does suck. And I think he does get to 100 contacts at P5. Vision's not terrible. He's just too big to have that. I think he's comfortably a C tier. I'll bring him up a little bit. No, he's just a C tier because he could play shortstop. But that doesn't really... You have good shortstops, right? You don't need a little more offense there. You have plenty of good shortstops. James Paxton. I'm going to go tentatively in A tier. Tentatively. Uh, I like the numbers across the board, though. Pitch mix is solid. I'll go tentatively in A tier. Eddie Murray, uh, S tier. His fielding is actually quite low. This is a Guardians Eddie Murray at the time of the Cleveland Indians. 125, 106, 109, 95. Visions 103. Clutch maxed out. Fielding is where he takes a hit, but it doesn't really matter over there. He's usually a gold glover, big time. But this Eddie Murray is a switch hitter with really, really good stats. He doesn't sacrifice anything offensively. Good quirks. So S tier. S tier. I think he's got a very underrated swing, too. It looks weird, but it plays well. Kyle Freeland. Uh, I think he's actually a pretty good pitcher, B tier. He's got a funky arm angle, and Colorado Rockies fans, I know you've been suffering watching this guy pitch for the last couple years, but this card's really good, so uh, rejoice. Al Leiter, sneaky S tier, and I'll give you I'll give you an example why. No Mets bias here, I'm being serious. Yes, his hits per nine is only 98. K per nine is only 99. 116 walks per nine with only 89 velo is going to be diabolically crazy control. Dot, 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 dot. Fits Verlander captain, fits the uh, Kershaw, obviously. If you put this card on tier two Kershaw, where you get plus 10 hits per nine and clutch. Actually, I don't think you get pigeon clutch. You get plus 10 hits per nine. We're talking 108 hits per nine with K per nine at 99, which is usually pretty low for him anyways. And 116 walks per nine. He is going to dot everything. But even on his own, I'm telling you, give him a shot. Only demerit for lighter is no changeup, but give him a shot. Fergie Jenkins, A tier. Finally gave Fergie Jenkins good per nines. It's been forever. 107 hits per nine, 100K per nine, 102 walks per nine. Velo is 90, but it should still dot. Very good individual controls on his pitches, right? 99 on the four seam, 99 control on the slider, 99 control on the sinker, 95 control on the curveball, 87 control on the forkball, all with crazy good breaks. The lowest being the sinker at 88. Very underrated pitcher, very fun to pitch with. Uh, Fitz Schwarber and Darvish because of the Cubs and also Musina, captain. Definitely an A tier sleeper. Matt Moore, I'm gonna go with a B tier. He's a weird he's a weird card to evaluate. This is a Brev cookup here, I believe. This is definitely a Brev cookup. So 113 hits per nine, 114k per nine. Very good. 86 walk spines pretty low, but only 83 V low with 99 breaks. So he should dot everything. The controls on his pitches are individually decent, except for the sinker, four seam, knuckle curve, changeup, sinker, slider. But he does have a slow slider, which could suck, but he has a decently hard, snappy knuckle curve. 
somebody to give a shot to. I want to try him out. I definitely want to try him out. So I'm going to give Matt Moore a very tentative B tier uh, for now. I think Freeland could be better than we think. I think these two are very close to being A tier. I have to try them out, though. Pitchers are tough. I have to see him in game against people, not just the CPU. The foresight for that is a little harder than hitting. Richie Sexton, the Sex Master. C, man. He's just okay, man. Another, you know, okay card. We're talking 100, 102 contacts, 117, 125 power, 87 vision, 104 clutch, whatever. But fielding's 81 over there, first base, cool. Plays the outfield, he can. He's just too big for me. Plus, those numbers aren't going to wow you. So I'm going to go with a C tier card. I don't think he's better than Palmero. I don't think he's better than, um, you know, a lot of the first basemen here. So on to the next, Justin Morneau. I actually didn't get a good look at this card. This is one I, I kind of glossed over. I've seen so many. 108, 10, 105, 108 contacts, 119, 102 power, 101 vision, 112 clutch, fielding 75, reaction 82 though. So he gets the gold at P5 with an 87 reaction. That is very good. Great quirks too. I like this Morneau. He was a demon back in the day. I'm going to go A tier with Morneau. I like him. James McCann, super high A tier, potentially S tier, and I'll tell you why. Stats. This is hilarious to me as a Mets fan. 106, 125 contacts, 102, 96 power with 93 vision, 125 clutch, 85 fielding, 91 arm, 90 arm accuracy, 88 reaction, 85 block. He fits Cruz team, which gives him a, a whopping plus 12 power to both sides on top of his already very, very good contact. And uh, the clutch rings already maxed out. So, yeah, and he fits Verlander's no hitter team because he caught a no hitter. That's a sleeper. He fits the no hitter team. Yeah, and Stanton as well. He fits the Stanton team. I think that's sneaky good today. This might be crazy. I think James McCann's an S to your card. I talk shit about him on Twitter. I never said they weren't going to be good. Him and, and uh, you know, Josh Stalmont, but Stalmont, whatever his name is. But it's just funny to me that those guys got TA cards. Eric Gagne, uh, you know, <laughs> he could be tricky. And the first time you see that curveball, it's pretty tricky. Outlier fastball, pretty stock stats. I'm going to go through all of them. But he's pretty good. Eric Gagne, I'm going to go... A tier, A tier reliever, Kimbrel, uh, B tier because I'm interested. I'm interested to see this. He has outlier one and two, so he has an outlier fastball and an outlier knuckle curve, and he has a sinker, no slider, which is stupid to me. But I'm I'm very interested interested to see how that outlier knuckle curve goes. I used his hard knuckle curve as like a cutter of sorts at times when trying to get outs on uh you know going in on hitters, the lefties. But tentative, I'm gonna go tentative C, potentially B tier. Andrew Miller. Uh, B tier because lefty with funky movement and slider primary, right? Yes, which does help. Good per nines. Uh, and lefties are just so strong right now. You know, slider, four seam sinker. I'm not particularly high on them. I think there's better lefties right now. So B tier. Josh Stalmont, uh, I'm going to go... I'm going to go B tier here because he has outlier one and two with a four seam and sinker. And he has a curveball and a slider. No changeup, which really does suck, but... Uh, I'm very interested to see how he works out. So we'll go tentative B, potentially low C. Eckersley, I mean, just a C. He does dot really well, but again, I saw an iteration of Eckersley with a changeup this year. I don't know which card it was of his, but he had one. Give him a changeup. I don't know why they continue to pump out these legends who get the exact same unused cards every single year. He's one pitch away from being very good. Very good. Rant over. But for now, I got to go C tier. He's just going to get crushed like he always does. Gregory Soto, uh, potentially S tier because he's a lefty with a four pitch mix, four seam slider sinker. Oh, sorry, primary sinker, which is outlier sinker. Very good. Slider, a hard one, too. Fastball changeup. Good mix, very solid mix. The control's a little iffy. 125s, though, with 89 walks per nine, 112 clutch. Definitely an add to your bullpen, right? Funky delivery, so someone you want to add. So overall, let's take a gander at this drop. The highs are high and the lows are a little bit low, but the second most populated tier in this drop is S tier, right? By the way, I'm not going to rank the collection cards. We know how good those cards are. Don't have to rank them. But S tier is number one, uh, number two, one being B. So card, most of the cards are good. The majority of them are good. And then after that, it's S. And then three is A, four is C, and only three D tier cards, right? And there could be arguments made that at least, you know, Gallo's fun. He's just unfortunate. And Joe Morgan, some people, if you see, okay, here's what I'll tell you about this. If you see somebody with Joe Morgan in their lineup and they're batting on top of the lineup with Joe Morgan, run. That guy's a sick motherfucker and he's going to hit a bomb against you because guys who use Joe Morgan, there's a reason why they're in the lineup. The power versus lefties is just so damn low, but he will absolutely eviscerate right-handed pitching, right? We're talking 108, 
Actually, only 108, 92. He has 125 contact versus lefties. Yeah, really weird spread. But 110 vision is fun. Clutch is good. No bunt rating, which just makes him weird, man. He's just inferior in every single way to like Biggio and Jackie Robinson at that position. So um, I'd rather even use Utley. But yeah, I mean, really good cards at the top of the S tier here. So enjoy it. Have some fun. I'm going to continue getting back to grinding. And I hope you guys enjoy this stuff too. And I'll see you soon, man. Peace.